YouTube land, what's up? Well, I have a doozy of a video for you guys. We have, unfortunately, at one of our properties, sewer line has broken in a couple of the step down areas where there's a tie in from clay to cast iron. This is a very old building and there is original section of clay pipe that they've used all across the country a long, long time ago, many years ago. Um, Around here in the city of Denver area, there's um, probably right after the 50s, early 60s, um, everything went to cast iron. There is definitely a lot of properties still tied into clay. Clay is literally what you think it is. It's made of clay material and it does fall apart over a long period of time. And um, the, the tie-in is where the cast iron would receive that clay area that would run, the clay would actually run, runs out to the city main. And so what happens over time is it deteriorates, roots get into it, so forth, and it breaks. And when we bought this property, we could see a couple of the cracks from the scope and a couple step down areas, meaning it was slumping a little bit, which is on the way to breaking. Um, but hoping you know for the best for a while and not having to do much of a repair then we had one tenant that's basically the last line into the main and they're starting to have problems things are backing up and there we are so um, instead of just doing a five foot repair we're going to go ahead and do the whole 55 feet from the building all the way out to the city tie-in to the tap um, unfortunately the city of denver is the only municipality in the state of colorado that does not still allow trenchless repairs or pipe bursting where we could actually just do two small profile pits, get into the pipe, and then all we do is basically burst through that pipe with Schedule 40 and push new plastic pipe in to receive a tie-in and break the old clay out of the way as we work. Um, the only time we're actually able to do that in this city is when there is, um, it's running under a structure like a garage or a bunch of arbor or trees where we would end up tearing up a bunch of trees and foliage and everything else and um, that's a pretty loosey-goosey kind of scenario but those are the only times we actually get to use trenchless in the city of denver um, so we'll be cutting saw cutting concrete and asphalt all the way to the city tap all the way back to the building and making a big mess so uh, I got to go meet up the guys out in the back. Apex Plumbing is doing this. Thanks, guys, for jumping on this so quickly for us because it's urgent. And let's uh, let's go take a look at how this is done. Okay, first things first, call 811 before you dig. Make sure all of your utilities are located, as you can see here, front, back, and sides of the property. Even if it's not in the dig zone, make sure it's located because we need to know there's nothing screwy going on. There's no awkward turn or addition made to a water line, a sewer line, electrical especially, gas lines, everything needs to be located before we start any of this work. As you can see here, everything's been located. So we are ready to dig. So that sewer line where it ties from cast iron to clay is right under the stairs, of course it is. and runs down that sidewalk there, out into the parking area behind the structure and then out to the city sewer tap in the alley, which is all asphalt. We're gonna cut a three foot wide trench all the way down to the city tap and then all the way back up, basically removing that entire section of concrete to the back stairs and demol demolishing all of the stairs as well. So a lot of flat work repair because we can't do trenchless system repairs in the city of Denver, fun stuff. So we start with, let's get rid of all the railing. I guess I got to replace that with some brand new welding and some nice railings gonna go on there, make sure everything's to code. And then we're gonna go ahead and demolish those back stairs and the landing. And then once everything's cut on the other side, we can come back and blow up the sidewalk as well. Um, as you see, the guys here are just gonna go ahead and cut that sucker off because I'm gonna replace it. It's unfortunate um, that we can't sleeve this, but I'll tell you this much, even with, if we were able to do trenchless, um, you know, basically a pipe bursting type scenario, we would have had to take the back stairs out. I'm still trying to figure out why that line runs over the back stairs. There must have been a modification on this building way, way back when. So anyway, it is what it is. So now we're gonna drop all of our play wood down before we dig. So we have an easy way to basically backfill everything once it's done. It's a really good way to kind of protect any areas, even if it's concrete, flat work, asphalt. It just makes it a lot easier to get the dirt back in our trenches. Once it's done, Apex is always good at doing that. So 
There we are. We're actually digging up the first section, like I said, where the clay and the cast iron are tied together right there under that back stairs. Um, it's about six feet to the line coming out of the back of the house, but it'll drop all the way to about 12 feet at the city. So once you get most of it uncovered, then it's on to hand digging to make sure we don't hit anything. One thing that was also in the way was my irrigation line running right underneath the sidewalk. So minor repair, but another thing we had to cut and get out of the way. Um, and then excavate everything. Right here, you can see actually a form and a spreader going in. And this is to keep the, well, keep the workers safe. Um, really, it's keeping the soil from collapsing on itself before we get any digging, hand digging done in there. Before you jump in a trench, you gotta make sure that soil is not gonna bury you. Okay, so yesterday afternoon, inspector came out, checked our tie in to the cast iron on this side towards the building. Uh, all of that got replaced. We've run all of our schedule 40, four inch, all the way out to now the city main, which is what we're exposing now. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, once he inspected that, we went ahead and backfilled because we gotta go ahead and get all of that repair done on the on our side of the property and then we're gonna go out to the main and once that's inspected he's coming out today to check on that tie-in once we finish once that's done um, then we can backfill that area and then we can patch the asphalt in the concrete and then all the sidewalk repair which you see behind me i've also got some irrigation line that has to be repaired so i'll get to that as well um, so that's next step on this process once we get everything backfilled here that's inspected backfill, patch everything up, and then we've got a brand new sewer line that should hold up for a long, long time. You can see behind me, we're finished the excavation for that city tap, tying that in. Um, we're setting, right now we're setting basically some, some stress points here. So that basically what's, what this is for is to keep that soil from compacting itself as, we're, as these guys are working, so it doesn't collapse on us. Um, don't want any of that stuff to happen for sure. So. Um, those forms just hold everything up and give a good solid working area to go ahead and finish that tie into the city. And then, like I said, we're just going to go ahead and set our rock, wait for the inspector to show up, gives us a thumbs up, bury that. And then from there, it's just patching everything up and we're out of here. So um, it's not cheap, but it's done. It's going to last a long time and there's no more clay to deal with in the future. So that's it. Um, pretty simple at least on my end. Um, it doesn't cause some sort of inconvenience to the tenants, one, and two, uh, people getting access to the alley and the street, too. But, um, you know, these things happen. You gotta do this on old buildings, and we will hopefully not have to do this for a very long time, at least not in the rest of my lifetime, because this pipe will hold up forever. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit me on a thumbs up. Um, drop comments below check out all the other videos and always 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 guys keep building